Hey everybody, Mike Chipperini of Chippers Island Adventures and it's a beautiful spring day here in New England and today I'm going to go ahead and dewinterize my Javato 59K. <laughs> All right, so today I'm gonna to go ahead and dewinterize my rig now. To me, I don't think it's that difficult. And the irony of it is there isn't a whole lot in the Travato literature. And, you know, there's varying methods of doing it. The Travato literature really doesn't go over it much. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fill up my holding tank and then I'm gonna run the pump off the holding tank and hopefully I'll be able to flush out my lines. So let's go ahead and see how that goes. And what I have right now, I have everything set up. I have my blue hose coming out. I have an inline filter that is brand new and I flushed it because you got a lot of charcoal in there that needs to come out. And I have my exterior shower along with the hose connected to the power fill hookup and what i'm going to do is go ahead and make sure my settings are set to power fill and then i'm going to go ahead and fill it so right now that water is going in and i don't have any leaks underneath So in the next few days, I'm gonna sanitize my tank. And what I'll do is this water is go that's going in is excellent. It's from my well system that is purified and all that. And then on top of it, I have it going through that inline filter. So the water in it will be fine. Then I'll go ahead and add a little bit of a solution. I'm told that going by the literature, it says to do it with a bit of bleach. But a lot of people don't like doing that because of the truma system. But we'll go ahead and see how everything works out here. I'd like to get more of a citric based cleaner. And I'm going to work on that with Amazon to see what I can get. So like I said, I'm fumbling my way through this because there isn't a whole lot of literature on it. Okay, so as we can see, my fresh water tank is full right now. So right now I have it on power tank fill. Well, I'm going to move it up to um, dry camping which is really just turning two knobs like so and with that I should be able to run this outside shower by turning on the pump. Let the pump charge up. There's going to be a lot of air in the line. All right, you can see that's flowing pretty clear right now. That's pretty good. I'll flush the toilet. Let that clear up. There it is, it's starting to clear up now. That's looking pretty good, folks. Now I'm going to get the shower. And that's starting to run clear now. And bear in mind, that's the cold water side. A lot of air in the line, nothing to be alarmed about. This is the, the hot water side. And that's going to take a while. So I'm going to leave this right here.
that pump water pump is starting to settle down now so there's the cold water side and the hot water side has a little bit of paint not much so it's got a lot of air in the lines right now that's starting to run better not too shabby so that's the hot water so right now we got the kitchen sink we'll go back here now I'm going to run the hot water side of my shower okay and that's not too bad okay so I just shut it down Another thing I forgot about, we still have this sink. So let's go ahead and give that a flushing. A lot of pink stuff coming out, huh? I'll turn that off, let it drain. That's the cold side. And this will be the hot side. That side's gonna be better. It always is. You know, in truth, I don't even use this sink. I really don't. But it does what it's supposed to do. This. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Close, close. Not too bad. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the pump off, give it a break. And I'm gonna put it on, seeing how I'm already connected to city water, I'm gonna put the settings on city water settings. So. So right now, I've set them to city water settings. The white is down, the green is to the left, the red is pointed up, and the blue is to the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this water on. That's pretty good. That's off. Now I'm gonna turn on the hot water side and see how that works. That's pretty good. A little bit more air in the system. But that water's running clean. Probably got a little residual in the line, you know. But, you know, antifreeze isn't gonna hurt you. It's not contaminant. Now, I wanna see how this shower nozzle looks on city water, just to see. Cause I've never been happy with this shower nozzle. So that's about it. It almost looks like it's spitting at you. So I have a video coming up where we're gonna go to a different shower head. It's still an oxygenic, but it's gonna be a different shower head that was recommended by Greg Schultz. So we'll see how that goes. But this is the way this shower head behaves. You can adjust it. I do have an automatic shutoff or a uh, manual shutoff here. So once you get your, this is a really nice little gadget this shut off because you could set your settings in your shower, turn off the water, lather up, turn the water back on, you'll still have the same settings, finish rinsing and you're good to go. So. I'm still getting a little bit of, you can see that the, the, the system is still rinsing itself out, but I'm gonna use it as is for now. Right now I could turn off the water pump. Water pump is off. But I think that's about the best way to go ahead and winterize the system. And I say that because all it is, it's got solution in it if you did it the antifreeze way. Some people blow it out actually I did both ways this year and 
I just felt good doing both ways. I wanted to try it. So I don't think there's anything more than that. Now, the only next step is to go ahead and sanitize the system. I don't drink this water. I drink bottled water. So for me right now, it's not imperative. I will go ahead and sanitize the system probably this week or next. I'm just going to let this system go ahead and work with the tank of water I got on board right now. It's not that hard. This is my recommendation. Go ahead, fill up your water tank with the power tank method. Once it's full or three quarters full, two thirds full, whatever, go ahead, turn it off, put it on dry camping, turn on your water pump and flush your lines. It's that simple. And the lines you have to flush are the outside shower, the toilet, the shower, and the bathroom sink along with the kitchen sink. Remember to hit all the lines. Go ahead, flow the water until you have all the pink solution out. And then I believe that's it. If you want to run it on city water while you have the hose connected up, feel free to do that as well. And then you have a two-fold way of making sure your lines are flushed. And I really think that's about all there is to sanitizing your rig. It's not that difficult. There's very little bit in the literature. And by the way, speaking of the literature, we have the hard, hard copy that the Travato comes with, but there is also an app from Winnebago, and I have it on my phone, and that app has everything that the hard copy manual has. So it's just as good, and you can look up things real quickly by choosing the magnifying glass, and it will look up things. But I will guarantee what you will not find in that manual is anything that says dewinterize. So, hey, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I kind of flubbed my way through it and just did the best I can. But at this moment, I feel confident. My lines are flushed. I feel good. I got a tank of water on board. I'm going to let it slosh around for a little bit, make sure things work. Maybe I'll run my water heater, make sure that works, and make sure everything's going according to plan. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel. All the best to all, and happy gardening.